Wow, guys, something big is coming for Tesla. Tesla stock is soaring today on really little good news. There has been some good news today, but I think this move is actually much more important than that. We're going to get into everything you need to know what's actually happening with Tesla stock today so you are informed. And before we do, what are we drinking on today? We're drinking on a protein shake. You got to get your protein in. This thing is actually pretty dang good. 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, one gram of sugar, and 24 vitamins and minerals. Now, my vanilla protein shake is nowhere near as exciting as what's happening with Tesla stock today. Tesla stock is up about 5% at the time of recording this video. Now, by the time you guys are seeing this, it could change. But there is something deeper happening under the surface that is causing this 5% move. And we're going to get into it. But on face value, here's what is happening today. So Bard analyst Ben Callow said price cuts and their impacts on margins will drive the narrative for the electrical vehicle maker in the second half. Quote, potential upcoming catalysts for the stock include the Cybertruck launch, a wider scale adoption of FSD, continued growth in the energy business, and expanding into new markets, and a possible AI day, among others. Callow wrote in a note to clients, the analyst has an outperform rating on the stock, the equivalent of a buy and a $300 price target. That's 39% above current levels. You could also say that Xpeng, their stock surge is feeding off into Tesla because positive free cash flow is in sight. Now, B of A securities analyst Ming Hassong Lee upgraded Xpeng stock to a buy from hold Monday. His price target goes to $22 from $16.30 per share. But I don't think this is what's causing a 5% move in Tesla stock today. Now let's start with what I said yesterday because I was very clear. I expected a bounce Monday, Tuesday, and the trading day Wednesday. I think there's a much greater chance we could fall after Nvidia's earnings because the expectations are so high. So a bounce was expected, but a 5% bounce really has me thinking maybe something else is under the surface. Some of your hedge funds, institutions, banks, large money players, they have better information, more timely information than retail investors. There is a strong chance that we are just days away or weeks away from the announcement of the delivery date for the Cybertruck and for the Highland Model 3. This is what I would suspect is actually causing this move higher. People got tipped off. Tesla stock is going higher. Why? What's the next biggest catalyst we have? Besides just an oversold technical bounce that it looks like face value we're experiencing today. Well, the Cybertruck and the Model 3 delivery date. Just the announcement of that date is going to be big news for Tesla stock and will cause a similar move to what we are seeing today. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section that is causing this 5% move in Tesla stock. And I mean, there's really good reason to think this is potentially why Tesla stock is doing so well today. Take a look at what Sawyer Merritt said on Twitter. Eight new Tesla Cybertrucks spotted at Giga Texas, four on the car hauler, and four in the parking lot. Or this article we're coming across from Tesla Roddy today from really James Cat over on Twitter that says there are 180 wrapped cars sitting in Giga Shanghai's logistic lot. He speculates that the new Model 3 could be announced in late August or September and you're in late August. Odds are this thing could be announced just within the next couple of days. This would be a pretty good reason why Tesla stock would be up 5% on the day today. Take a look at this video Tesla just made explaining how they are much more than just an auto manufacturer.
Now take a look at this video from Kevin O'Leary. I think he gives you a golden nugget on how to get rich in Tesla stock. A few years ago, my son, who was an electrical engineer, was interning at Tesla. Dad, why don't you own some Tesla? I worked there as an intern, and I said, I want to short that stock. It's such a joke. It's a car company trading at a ridiculous price. He said, no, you're the joke. You don't understand what Tesla does. I work there. It's not a car company, it's a data company. Every mile a Tesla drives, it goes into the database of mapping for autonomous cars. And I thought, shit, I didn't know that. He said, no kidding, you have a ton of money, why don't you buy some of this stock? So just before I went on the air, I took my phone out and I bought a whack of the stock in my personal account and I forgot about it. <laughs> One day I opened up the thing and I was up like a thousand percent. A few years as simple as that you hold through the bad you hold through the good tesla 10 20 30 x is in the future hashtag not financial advice and you become very wealthy it's as simple as that tesla is much more than an auto company this is also not great news for autonomous vehicles for robo taxis you had an incident where three cruise vehicles got stopped in the middle of the road that just kind of got confused or something. This is not a great look and it is cause for a little bit of concern. You haven't seen these same issues with Waymo, but you're seeing them increasingly with crews and you kind of just have people standing around taking videos of, of these cruise vehicles all stopped and then the intersection what are the chances you get three cruise vehicles at the same intersection at the same time in general and you see some people clapping over there maybe this could be positive for tesla if tesla's technology is a lot better than cruise and really i think it highlights something as well cruise got a license to do full self-driving and and Robo taxis in San Francisco, 24 hours a day. They obviously had to reduce the size of their fleet and can only operate during certain times now. But I would argue Tesla's FSD is far superior, far superior than Cruise. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Also in the news today, Tesla is opening a 51,000 square foot Tesla gallery and service center in Denton County, Texas, the first of its kind in the area, this will create up to 70 new jobs. Now, I'm not very familiar with Texas geographically and, and what is important to Tesla and, and what is not, to be honest. I live in Michigan, so I'm far from as, uh, Texas as far as even distance and my knowledge base of the demographic in Texas. But what I've heard from people that do live in Texas this was really needed in this area, and this is a very positive kind of expansion effort from Tesla. And Tesla is really taking that, that edge here to acknowledge where their customer base is and where they need to create facilities such as this kind. So I see this as a big positive for Tesla, especially in Texas. Kelly Blue Book is also estimating that the Cybertruck will start at $50,000 to compete with the Ford F-150 Lightning. Now, some people think it's going to be higher than this, and it might be a little bit higher than this. Now, Tesla stock is massively outperforming today. This could be a reason as well. Maybe someone knows the Cybertruck pricing. And I think the Cybertruck pricing is very important because if the Cybertruck is priced at $50,000 and there's roughly 2 million pre-orders, well, not all of those are going to convert regardless of the price. Some of them are just false and some, you know, people wanted to prop up the reservation numbers, but a lot of them, a vast majority of them are probably real and actually waiting for the Cybertruck. Now, if the Cybertruck comes out at $50,000, you're going to have a lot more conversions at that price relative to $100,000. At $100,000, you probably get 50% a conversion rate. At $50,000, you probably get a 75% plus conversion rate. This would be a big positive. And this is one of the 
multiple reasons why the actual announcement for the Cybertruck delivery date and the actual pricing for the Cybertruck can be such a big catalyst for Tesla stock. It's all about the conversion rate. Also in the news today, New Zealand's biggest energy retailer signs up for three big solar farms. Genesis Energy is planning to become the solar powerhouse with three new projects that it hopes to bring online in 2026. The company says it has picked three sites in the Manawatu and Hawke's Bay regions all in North uh, the North Island to install up to 400 megawatts of solar capacity. The pot price is estimated to be around $555 million. And if the proposed sites tick regulatory boxes and investment timelines, the first could be generating electricity by 2026. It's unclear who is going to win these contracts. Tesla looks to be a prime kind of candidate for this. And if this news does come out, it will further kind of bolster Tesla's energy and storage business, something that is already up over 200% year over year. And if that growth alone continues, energy and storage is going to become a bigger slice of the pie as far as Tesla's overall revenue. And that's something the bears are not expecting. We are getting some news today, though, that is not as positive. NSW may scrap EV rebates in Australia's biggest electric vehicle market. Now, the NSW could become the second Australian state to put the brakes on electrical vehicle incentives after Labor Premier Chris Minns confirmed he was considering scrapping subsidies in the upcoming budget. His announcement comes after Treasury estimates found there was no clear evidence rebates were boosting electric vehicle sales in the state despite their growing popularity. New electric vehicles, less than $68,750, attract a $3,000 subsidy in NSW, and new and used EVs up to $78,000 are exempt from the stamp duty, but will attract a road user charge from 2027. Also in the news, Morningstar upgrades Xpeng to a hold from a sell and adjusts the price target from $1450 to $15 per share. The Tesla Model Y has been spotted at a testing facility in India. And this is hinting at an imminent. The Tesla Model Y has been spotted at a testing facility that hints an imminent Indian launch. According to Carversal, the testing might indicate Indians will be able to buy the Tesla Model Y in a matter of months. The Mahidran testing facility allows automakers to test for many of the driving conditions in India in a single location with its numerous testing ranges. Also spotted in photos is the Mandara XUV700. The Tesla Model Y in the photo is finished in gray with a black interior. If the reports are accurate, the five-seater Model Y will be Tesla's first car officially on sale in India. This could be huge as India is the highest country as far as population a very much developing country with about i mean 10 percent of america's total high income individuals so it's a lot less underdeveloped than the u.s that's obviously true but the the pie of people that are becoming middle class per se is growing every single year by the tens hundreds of thousands there can be a huge total addressable market in india and this would be massively positive for tesla stock tesla club india posted something quite ironic mahirinda a few days ago on august 9th 2023 says it's unfazed by EV competitors like Tesla entered entering the country. And then just today, well, the Model Y long range with a big dent has been spotted at Mahindra testing facility in Prune. And he does tag Tesla and say, you have the opportunity to do some funny things here.
Tesla stock today is seeing option activity from hedge funds and institutional investors. 731 orders totaling $141 million with a positive order value of 55%. The, the best way I like to explain this is if you have a $100 bill, $55 of that $100 bill is going into bullish options today and $45 is going into bearish options today. So you are seeing some pretty healthy option activity for tesla stock and if we look at this week's option expiration you are seeing volume today of 57 percent calls and 43 percent puts so it looks like retail investors are slightly more bullish than hedge funds and institutions today for tesla if we look at the total open interest numbers 51 percent of the option activity this week is calls and 48.88 percent is puts over 50% is skewed towards a bullish reaction. 10-year treasury yields are up almost 9 basis points today. Now this yield is at 4.34%. On one hand, this is a good sign for long-term growth in the economy. As the 10-year treasury yield rises, that means markets expect less rate cuts from the Fed in the future. But less rate cuts from the Fed in the future is not good here in the short term. And the markets have really been expecting some of these rate cuts. So we need to watch how the markets react as the 10-year treasury is breaking out to new highs of this cycle. The last time the 10-year treasury yields were this high was in October and November of 2022. That's when the S&P and the NASDAQ were at the lows. So this could be a negative if this continues throughout this week. Same story with the two-year treasuries, which is more dependent on Fed policy. The two-year treasury yield is at 4.99%, almost approaching 5%. This again suggests less rate cuts. The 10-year and three-month yield curve inversion is starting to uninvert even more. Now you're only inverted 1.29%. At the lows, you were inverted 1.88%. You would think this would be positive, but you tend to actually get the pain in stocks and the actual economy once this inversion starts to uninvert. So once this chart starts to go under the black line, that's not when you typically get pain in the markets. When you get pain in the markets is when this chart actually starts to rise. And that's what you have seen recently with an uninversion of already about 40%. Again, not a great sign for the markets. Here on the channel, we called out this bounce. We said, hey, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're likely to get a bounce at some point or all of those days of the start of this week. Why? Because Tesla stock was oversold. Anytime Tesla has been oversold in the past, you tend to bounce. Now, back here in December, you were oversold and you continue to sell off. But these kind of events do not happen often. The last time this event happened, like we've seen in December of 2022, was back in 2019. Historically, buying Tesla stock, whether it's calls or just buying the shares, when the stock hits that oversold level is usually a good trade. Nine and a half times out of 10 or 9.9 .9 times out of 10, that's a profitable trade. And that's exactly what happened today. And what's really interesting and really good about this is it looks like you gapped up right to that 100 day moving average and you open the day at $221.55 per share. And now you're trading up 5% at $226 per share. I indicated that I think Tesla stock could rally to about 230 within Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and go validate this in the last video if you guys would like. This is what I said multiple times throughout the video. I think if you get above 230, then you're risking more potential downside after Nvidia earnings. Nvidia stock itself has done so well it's priced in very good things. And if Nvidia has anything that's not so great or does not give you a big guidance raise, that could be a big negative for the markets themselves. And that's a big catalyst that you need to watch Wednesday in after hours. But if I were to really boil down this 5% move in Tesla, this looks like someone somewhere knows something. Hedge funds, institutions, money managers, banks, they get tipped off to certain information 
mo a lot of the time, I'm not going to say most of the time, but a lot of the time before big information comes out, we know there's big catalysts on the near term horizon, the cyber truck, as well as the refreshed model three licensing a full self driving. There's so many catalysts on the near term horizon. Now, most notably, even just the delivery date or, 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 or the actual um, delivery event for the Cybertruck is going to be a very big deal. And we're going to get pricing on the Cybertruck. This could be announced at literally any time. So my speculation is at some point in this week, you're probably going to get a major news event and you're getting signs of that right now as Tesla stock is up 5% on the day. Tesla is massively outperforming any other stock out there, especially large mega cap stocks tesla nothing holds a candle to tesla's performance today you gotta take these things in and try to reasonably come to conclusions on what's going on here and that's my best reasonable conclusion but again just to be very clear i do expect a drop in the markets coming thursday and friday why Thursday and Friday? Because NVIDIA reports Wednesday and after hours. So Thursday is going to be your first day of actual reaction to that. And then Friday as well. And just again, the expectations are too high for NVIDIA. They really have to come out and give you another 4 billion guidance raise or something crazy to get another 10 or 20% from here. The risks and the odds of a 10 to 20% rally or 10 to 20% drop are skewed more towards a drop. Now, I don't expect something that large for NVIDIA. I expect probably a 3 to 7% drop for NVIDIA. So I'm not expecting a huge black swan event where everything just crashes and dies, but it's not going to be a positive for the markets. It's not going to be a positive specifically for a lot of stocks that benefited off of NVIDIA earnings and the hype and really hopium that NVIDIA earnings gave the markets revolving AI. But then just to make matters that much more volatile, you are going to get durable goods orders Wednesday morning at 8.30 in the morning. You're expecting negative 3.8%. Not a great sign for the economy. Higher the better here. But then again, the Fed needs something to break. They need the economy to slip into a recession. They need stocks to crash or they need real estate to crash. It, none of those things look that likely as of right now. But you do have Fed Jerome Powell Friday... 10.05 a.m., he will be giving you a speech. This is the Jackson J the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium. It's her birthday. She wants to open her presents. I'm not expecting Fed Jerome Powell is going to be overly hawkish, nor am I expecting him to be overly dovish. The markets are currently not expecting another rate hike from the Fed. There's currently an 87% chance coming September 20th that we get a continued pause. There's only a 13% chance of a rate hike. So Fed Jerome Powell does give us signs that maybe we will get a rate hike coming in September. That's not going to be the greatest, and the markets might react negatively to that. And after all, it looks like Fed Jerome Powell needs something to break, and he does like to use these Jackson Hole moments as a chance to break something. As you can see from the S&P 500, your high was back here at the last Jackson Hole during August of 2022. Markets subsequently fell about 20%, so not so great. Take note of what's happening with the S&P 500 today, down about a quarter of a percent, and Tesla stock is up 5.10%. Again, let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think is causing this massive outperformance for Tesla? So that is going to do it for this video. I think it's very important that we take some of this information with a grain of salt. We do our best to try to reasonably assume what is coming next for Tesla. And I think all of this information, all of the things that we've talked about are reasonable assumptions based on the performance of Tesla stock today. But make sure you let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think is causing this massive outperformance? That is all of the news, all of your daily dose of the cyber truck and everything else you need to know. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you made it to the end of this video and you learned something or you just want to stay up to date with everything going on in the markets as well as Tesla stock every single day. My name is Michael Tyler. Thank you for joining me today on this hectic day and I will see you in the next one.